Good morning, Britain. In an explosive revelation by his own ghostwriter, Matt Hancock is alleged to have rejected expert advice to test all residents going into care homes for COVID during the pandemic. See, the, 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 the... Um, justifies the, uh, the revenue, no, basically no lockdown, um, has concluded its public inquiry. I think France is pretty well underway with its public inquiry, Italy as well. Um, she says that it took far too long for us to set ours up and it, it, it took months and months and months simply to establish the terms of reference. Let's get this information out there because whether you were pro-lockdown, anti-lockdown, whether you had a resident, uh, somebody, a loved one in a care home, whether you worked in one, you want to know whether the government were doing the right thing and she feels that she's doing the right thing. Yeah, she says, I had... To ...the 15th of April is, uh, is obviously the relevant day. From today, everyone going from hospital into social care will be tested and then isolated while the result comes through. Good. Now there is more capacity. The NHS and CQC are also increasing testing for care home staff and residents amid reports of rising deaths, though we are struggling to get precise figures. So, I mean, talk about muddying the waters. Yeah, and no mention of the... No mention. The French didn't hang around either with their public inquiry. It began in July 2020 yeah. during the pandemic. Mm. Uh, and in October 2020, officers raided the homes of senior government and health officials. And, um, and in Italy, in the UK, 18 months, just well, to a it... diary, we are, uh, the NHS is increasing testing for care home staff and residents amid reports of rising deaths. And in Isabel Oakeshott's leaks, he rejected advice to give corona tests. Yeah. You voted leave, Rishi Sunak, <laughs> which was, <laughs> took a bit carried away. The we union were single market. In the single market. Yeah. advice warned this week there will be a doubling in the number of people who simply can't afford mm. their energy bills. Because, of course, from April, there is this double whammy. Yeah. The um, energy price guarantee goes up. We know that Martin yeah. Lewis, often of this parish, up. Yeah. don't need to. Um, me at the same time as the energy um, support, the four hundred pounds is withdrawn. Is going to be withdrawn. But I think Northern Ireland, because of the uh, government not operating properly in Northern yeah. Ireland, there has been an issue with delivering that energy support. Yeah, but and, also uh, yeah, but and, here's, and, a, and here's another. Very good morning to you. Um, well, absolutely remarkable revelations this morning in mm -hmm. the Daily Telegraph. Um, we, of course, have interviewed Matt Hancock very recently about his uh, pandemic diaries. More, and it seems to have been revealed by Isabel Oakeshott, who had access to all of the material. Journalist has decided in the Telegraph today, which are absolutely not in... The Hancock book. So, Isabel Oakeshott... You report it, it's in the public interest to be discussed. The um, lay out exactly what we know this morning. The former health secretary, Matt Hancock, reportedly failed to follow expert advice to test all residents going into care homes in England for COVID. This is the allegation made in the Daily Telegraph after more than 100,000 WhatsApp messages were leaked to the paper. It claims the Chief Medical Officer, Professor Sir Chris Whitty, wanted testing for all going into care homes, but Mr Hancock believed that would, in his words, muddy the waters. That's in the WhatsApp messages. A spokesman for Mr Hancock insists he was supportive of the guidance, but was told it wasn't deliverable and our political cause. Well, that's our main news this morning. We will discuss those claims with Andrew Pearce, of course, from the Daily Mail, Kevin Maguire from the Daily Mirror and uh, Paul Brand will be here after eight o'clock, um, who did a remarkable amount of work investigating what went on in care homes during the pandemic. Plus Nigel Farage coming on the programme later he to discuss um, the aftermath of the uh, I, I can't imagine what Nigel Farage might say we to that. We can ask him. Uh, we'll talk to him Is after his work eight. done? And uh, also another legendary broadcaster, Jon Snow, will be joining us after seven o'clock. Now, though, here's Charlotte referring to... I just think, think it's a very nice brooch you're wearing this morning. Oh, yeah. I had a bit of an outfit. <laughs> Wardrobe crisis this morning. Um, put an outfit on that seemed to blend into the background. Mm. So the director with two minutes to spare said... 
Is there anything else in your wardrobe? <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, at two minutes to six, oh. nipped into the wardrobe, found this. Didn't realise it needed a bit more buttoning up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have never ever read the, out news headlines with. from the autocue while simultaneously <laughs> trying to unzip you from the back. And uh, there was a team of eight sorting out <laughs> Susanna's. There was, dress. was a team of eight. There was well, a it was wonderful Holly. Congratulations <laughs> in wardrobe who managed to uh, do a cover-up. So if you're wondering why this dress has suddenly a, a, acquired a brooch, yeah. <laughs> it was because it was a it was a last-minute cover-up job. Well done, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 22 minutes past six. Alex is very covered up.